fan of the Hauraki Big Show podcast? Yeah. Make sure you check out more from Jay, Mike and Keezy on their Instagram at Hauraki Big Show or tune in to them 4 to 7 every weekday on Radio Hauraki. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. <sighs> what? <laughs> <clears throat> what a great way to start off the fellas. podcast. <sighs> uh, well, look, it's just a shame because as I was over at the... Um, the gym there, I won't say which one, mm. uh, but it's pretty elite. Oh, yeah. And you go there. And, um, and then you get the All Blacks come in mm. and just make a huge fuss about, oh, are you on the big show? Are you on the big show? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, I came here to work out, guys. you got to chill out. Oh, really? Yeah, that is so annoying. So I had, I spoke to management and got them thrown out and then... Had the shit kicked out of them. The All Blacks. Yeah, how many of them? Just a couple. Just right. to set an example. Uh, Dog Roll Barrett. Oh yeah, I've been wanting to do him for a while. And, and, and Bodie. The thing about Dog Roll is, man, he only comes up to my nipple. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, is he left, tiny? My, my left he's, nipple. He yeah. looks bigger on screen. He right. does. But he's only a little fella. I've, I've been. He's got the hops. I, I, oh, he's uh, got the hops. Got mad hops. I've been in the same situation with Bodie. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey fella, big fan of your footy. Just back off a little bit, pal. And I tell you what, filthy. They were filthy on Keezy. Oh, what do you mean? Well, that's that's actually why I was like, hey, nobody disses Keezy. All oh, right. I, I, mean, said, I, I said the same except for you guys. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. But they were, um, well, there's a couple of things. They said, first of all, they said, I'm surprised. We listened to the podcast. Surprised to see you down at the gym because I thought that must be bullshit. Where's Hoity J, they said. Mm. I said, well, today's leg day, so he doesn't come down here for leg day. Yeah, I don't do leg days. He misses leg day. And I said, I did tell them, Keezy, um, that you only do leg day because mm. you're trying to learn how to dunk. And their words to me were, he's fucking dreaming. I'll really? just repeat that from an elite athlete to an elite athlete. Yeah, yeah. I won't say which ones. Really? But they said, he's fucking dreaming. Is that what they said? That's what they said. So because, you've got a challenge on your hands now. Because? I said he eats so much Hawaiian pizza. And beersies. And I'll be so saying be- <laughs> aloha to that rim in no time. Don't you worry about that. Seriously, last night. What rim? At netball. At netball, sure. <laughs> I love it how whenever I say netball, people just crack up. Yeah, yeah. But last night at netball, I was jumping higher than I've ever jumped. I felt like I was floating around the court. But floating, Jesus. Because every time I'd like, someone would throw a ball and I'd jump to get it. And all of a sudden I'm like still in the air and I'm like, what? Right, like ear bud. And I even said to Joel at one point, the pants man, I was like, far out, man. I'm jumping way too high to catch these. Because I'll be like jumping to catch the ball and then I'm catching it. Catching it down at my ankles. Yeah. And all it takes is a quick boom to just sort of like a slam to- it. Sort of like a toddler. Can you do that in netball? Can you, can you do the, the game dunk? out? No, you can't dunk yeah, in netball, yeah. which is why I didn't. But you yeah, actually yeah. you can. Oh, I could. No, you are allowed. Remember no, it's, they, it's, it's illegal. It's physically impossible they for went, the people that play. They no, went no, through that little stage. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch this where they were doing the old lift. The Harrison hoist. Yeah, the Harrison right. hoist. That was on defence, though, not on attack. Right, yes, to defend. Um... That was, yeah, now a Scarlet, Anna Scarlet, that was named after. Yeah. Now Anna Harrison, yeah. Not that I know heaps about netball or anything because my wife punishes with me. At... <sighs> what, she punishes you with netball chat? Yeah, for the last 10 years of my life, it's been a lot of netball. So now I actually know quite a lot about netball. Yeah. Which is actually not a bad thing. I quite enjoy it. You love it because that's what you call it, punishing. Yeah, but I say that to look cool. Oh, yeah, sure, to us. Yeah. Don't worry about that, Keezy. It's funny you uh, re, ha- re your gym there, <laughs> Mogi, because I get all the uh, all-black coaches at my gym. Right. Um, you know, the older like former clo- coaches. Yeah, former like coaches. Graham Henry yeah, yeah, and Chris yeah, yeah, Wiley. Yeah, 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 elderly of, fatties. Yeah. Yeah, Mad, yeah, Butcher, yeah. Mad Butcher as well, he comes to mind. Well, does he? It's, it's yeah, the, yeah. Fit, the fittest um, people I can think Because he lives on Waiheke. He goes yeah, all the way yeah. out west, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's because um, it's just a really humble gym, right? A you lot know, of and, 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 around and a lot of a lot of the guys that have come out of that it's got gym ramp are, are like uh, quite well known boxers and so well, forth. If, you yeah. know, it's just old school. It's not old flash. School. You know, well, as you say, you go down there, you sit in the car park, you smoke a couple of darts and piss off. It sort of explains the shape that the former coaches are in. Yeah, yeah. You know, you oh, big I mean, fat I, bastards. I, I'm not, I'm not training them. No, but, no, you know no, no, I mean? no, um, no. It's a good place to hide away from your wife yeah, for an hour. Yeah, Is that yeah. What you're get a doing? few drinks. I in. mean, there's a pub next door to it. I yeah, RSA, and you know, I do pop in there occasionally. The, to the gym. Pub. 
or the RSA? No, to the to the gym. Sure. Oh no, I always go to the RSA. Right. After. You, you got to go down to the gym, swipe in, yes. then head over to the RSA, sign yes. in. Yes. Three jugs. Yeah. Uh, a couple of ports. Yeah. Uh, Forty bucks on the pokies. Yes. Go and ding dong out of the gym. And then catch yeah. the bus to the big show. And uh, yeah, free of charge. Yeah. 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 Gold card. Have you, have you got a gold That's card? 11, yeah, man. yeah, man. At forty-two. Yeah, totally. Wow. I make uh, counterfeit gold cards. Oh, is that how he got plenty it? Plenty I was going to say. It's plenty from, of it's money, man. Yeah, 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 oh, so you don't get it when you turn 40? No, no you no, get it no. when you're, what is it, 65, 65 I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. My mum's got one, so I took it off her. Marge. And I've just made counterfeit after counterfeit. So what is that again? It's just like free travel, eh? Free travel. Yeah, um, free piss, half price weed. Yeah. What, well, um, gold card? Access to like rock and roll concert concerts and that. Half price air travel. Yes. Um, free darts. Yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty wow. amazing. Man. Yeah, it sounds good because you don't get a lot for the pension, but you sort of the discounts that you get. Yeah, uh, Dillies. You get a discount on Dillies, or you get them free? <laughs> free Dillies. Oh, you get free. Dillies. Yeah, everybody gets a Dilly. Right. Okay. Which well, is one though, right? Just one start. Yeah, yeah. Start. Um, but each year you get a new one. Each oh, year you right. get a new one. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. of course. Yeah. If you know, I mean, but having said that, you might like your Dilly that you've got. Oh, you, you can to Well, that's oh, the thing, though, but you've got to ruin the dillies. It. And it's nice to sort of mix it up. I mean, you know what it's what You've been married for 27 years. It's nice to mix it up with a new dilly. Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, we've got a bag of dillies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got a room of dillies. Yeah. Um, they're all stuck on the wall because I've got those suction caps on one end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Actually, good. when I say a bag of dr- a dillies, I mean a drawer of dillies. Oh, sure. Yeah. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Mum got a hell of a fright, actually, when she... Why, where's the drawer? In the kitchen or something? Yeah, it is, strangely It's in the kitchen. You know how everyone has those drawers that's just full of shit? Full of shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My one's full of dillies. So your mum was looking for the glad wrap or something? Yes, and the dillies. Oh, no, no, under the dilly drawer, under the dilly drawer. Yeah. No, I just said the third drawer, and she went into the second drawer. So you have the glad wrap under the dillies in your kitchen? I have the glad wrap on top. So you go, no, you go cutlery, top. Next drawer down is generally your spatulas, your tongs and those sorts of things. Yes, yes. Third drawer. Third drawer down, I generally would do a split of tea towels and dillies. That's right. Yeah, well, we've we've usually just got the tea towels. We've got so many tea towels. And strangely enough, we keep our glad wrap and foil with... Oh, you still run the foil? Yeah, yeah. We've got rid of the foil. Yeah. So where do you keep the foil? Actually, we don't have the glad wrap either. We've only got the baking paper. Where do you keep the foil? Pardon? Where do you keep the foil? Because with the with the um, uh, tea towels and the tea towels and the fourth drawer down. So the tea towels, yes, yeah, the tea towels are sort of on this side, and the foils mm. and your glad wraps oh, are on the left side. Well, that's right what I'm saying. Side. is rather than having those there, you could have your dillies there. Yeah, well, I mean, look, I'm I'm perfectly happy to change my it dilly is, drawer. Once you get in the habit of where those things go, it is weird. When my wife and I met, um, so her order was different. So she still had the cutlery on top. Yes, but dillies were second. Yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. I had your spatulas and your you know, your tongs and wooden spoons and all that. Yes. Right. So that took a bit of um, getting used to, actually. So am I weird for not having a drawer of dillies in my kitchen? Well, there's a drawer of dillies somewhere in your house. You might just not know yeah, about it. Yeah, you just it. don't know about it. Yeah. Oh, I know every yeah. drawer in my house. No, yeah. no, no. It no. sounds like you don't. Yeah. It sounds like you don't. Because Wait. there will be definitely a drawer of dillies. <laughs> or, a, of or, dillies. Or, a, or a suitcase of dillies. Yes. Why? So, and there's definitely more than just one dillie, you're saying? There's, oh, there's hundred. Like well, 100. your wife is... 30, over 30, around 30. about 30? Yeah. I, gu- I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee you, um, Keezy, if you went into your laundry, you'd find a backpack of dillies. Oh, yeah. Why a backpack well, or a suitcase? Is she about to run away? Has she been backpacking through Europe? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she's okay. been thinking about it, though. Mm. Yeah, well, there you go. Mm. She wants to get a backpack for all the dillies. So you're saying that she's going to backpack across Europe with just a bag of dillies? No, no, no. When she gets home, she'll use the backpack for dillies because the only place that you use those huge backpacks is when you're backpacking across Europe, right? So it just right. sort of hangs out in your garage or somewhere after that never gets used. So nobody thinks to look for the dillies. Exactly. Ram with dillies. Rammed. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many little pockets, pockets with different yeah, dillies. that you can just hang the, right. the dillies in. Mm. Actually, I haven't used our chili bin in a while. We've got a big chili bin. Like no, a really big Nah, that, that would filthy. be, you know, you got to put food in there, Keezy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just put your dillies in there. Yeah. Right, okay, well. Um, keep your dillies chilly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Dilly chat. Bob Dilly, you listen to Bob Dilly? Actually, I had an idea to make a, a line of rock and roll based dillies. Oh, yeah. Call one of them Bob Dilly. Yep. And it's got a little sort of afro on. No, it wouldn't have an afro on it, but you know what sure. I mean? Uh, the next one would be Dilly Corgan. 
Oh, yeah. From Smashing Pumpkins. Yep. Would that be a weird one? Weird shape? That would be a weird... Yeah, that would be a really weird one. The well, they have a ball real head. ball head on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I haven't thought of any others. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it's a start. <laughs> Can I... Uh, Rod Just Stewart. Tell you guys a little secret. Dilly Idol. Dilly Joel, Dilly Idol. There you go. This is happening. I um Dill just, Smith. just Dill on Smith. the um just on the Dilly front. That's got a little hand on it that slaps you. Um I was a model for Dillies for a while. How do you model Dillies? Well, as you know, like a cast. So they would take my fella and mold, oh. mold the Dilly off my fella. <laughs> right. Sold it was the most popular Dilly going for a while. Yeah. What was it called? Pardon? Can't remember. I can't recall, actually. Oh, really? So it wasn't yeah. called, like, here is Jason Hoyt's Dilly? No, it wasn't the Hoity J Dilly. The no. Wee Willy Dilly. Wee Willy Dilly? Was it? No, it was... I uh, There was nothing wee about it. Oh, yeah, Hoity's Hog. Yeah. Mm. Is that what it was called? Hoity's Hog? Hoity, wow. The Hoity Dog Roll. And can you still get that? Pardon? Can... <laughs> Can you still get the hoity dog roll? Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. funny enough, though, only you could only get a, a used one because yes. they, it actually broke the mold. It actually broke the mold. What is that? Yeah, I don't understand. Like a steel mold, an iron mold. No, it's not iron. Right, it's made out of uh, plaster of Paris. Right. Yeah, smashed it. And, and glazed because Jay says you know because when he did uh, what we do in the shadows, remember he had to get oh, his to mask on, on. That's right. And he freaked out. That's right. And he ripped it off his face. Well, his his massive piece freaked out and flexed and smashed the uh, the cast. Right. I wouldn't say flexed. I'd say more pulsed. Oh yeah. Oh really? Like when you sort of um, go <clears throat> with a bed sheet or something, and the pulse goes down it. Well, you know, like when or like a whip when Mogi sits in a chair and just sort of flexes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, kind of like that. Um, <laughs> and his shirt does sometimes rip off too. Yeah, it, just, it like, does. Like the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know I just, yeah, it was just one of those occasions where I was a bit, probably a bit overexcited. Well, hang on, what did they? And it, and it just crack. Da, 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 Is that the noise line? What did they, but you said you made a line of dillies off this. But you broke the mould, obviously. I mean, you broke the mould, yeah. I, to be honest, to be honest, I didn't make the – they just used me as the model. Right, and did you get I a cut? I didn't make them. Yes. Did you get a cut of the action? Well, yes, I am cut. No, that's, that is not the question I asked. <laughs> Your Horaki Big Show Keys here. Word of the day is – It can't be Dilly. We've, <laughs> had, we've had it so many times. Yeah, we've done Dilly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all, pulse. Well, pulse. I was going to say all blacks, but yes. Pulse. Pulse it is. Pulse. Send them in. Hodaki Big Show Messenger with your cell phone, all five of them, over the weekend. We'll call you Monday. Prize pack. Big Show. Backbone T-shirt. Follow us on Instagram. Mr. Mike Minogue. Chris Key and Z. Hoy DJ. At Call Me Pugs. Hodaki Big Show. Just like to say that dunking a netball is not allowed. Just confirming that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and the rules. Yes, yes. yes. I, I think I found that out when the they, they played that men's team. Who pumped them. And they had that well seven-foot dude yeah. who could dunk, and yeah. he wasn't allowed to. Doesn't so. seem fair. No. Jace. Thanks, mate.